start uh, a new series of work or come back to the studio, I start by making a series of tools um, that I use to make my work. Um, and I think that making your own tools can really, uh, as simple as they are, uh, making them with your hands and engaging with the material, bef uh, sort of they fit you, they're yours, and I think that that can help to give your work an individuality. Next, I'm going to show you uh, how to make buttons that have a more circular uh, shape to them. Um, so I've made this tool, which is just a bisque mold that has sort of hemispheres carved out of it. And I use that as a press mold. Uh, so I will first show you how to make it, and then I'll show you how I use it. Um, so this is a slab that has set up to sort of, it's, it's leather hard, but still a little bit flexible. And you just, you want that tension. You don't want the clay to move too easily as you're doing this. So then I'm gonna take um, a series of loop tools with different round ends, different sizes, and use those to carve this. And this is a really fun trick. So if you take the tool and you place it on the surface and then just spin it, it acts a little bit like a drill and it sort of carves out that clay. If the clay is too soft, it will squish rather than actually um, removing the clay. So you wanna make sure you wait till the slab is leather hard, but not too hard so you don't have to push with all your might. You wanna be careful not to touch it too much because the clay is leather hard. You wanna sort of be attentive to not trying to remove too much of what's there, waiting till this is dry, but getting anything that's just sitting on the surface out of your way. So at this point, I've finished sort of making this and I'll leave those sort of edges until this is bone dry and then just come in and sort of fl flick those off, sand this down a little bit and just sort of clean it up so you have cleaner edges around, but waiting is important on that. I'm gonna come and so then I just, this is a fun sit on the couch and do this in front of the TV activity. I'm gonna come and I just make little balls and use this like a press mold. So I'm just gonna squish them in there. And they usually will remove right away, but I try to leave them and just let them dry for a second. But because the bisque mold is so absorbent, in the beginning, they just pop right out. And you have perfect little hemispheres. So now that I've finished the bowl, I have just some of the buttons that I've painted with two different colors of underglaze. Uh, right now I have lilac and the electric blue, but it's real fun when you get into the really bright colors because it's such a small space, you can sort of have a huge pop of color with these. And I'm gonna start by using the bat pin holes. And I usually start with the bottom row and I'm just gonna sort of find that line and I'm gonna squish that in. And so that's meeting that bat pin hole. And then, because I really love symmetrical objects, I'm gonna come then and switch sides and I'm gonna come find the other bat pin hole and I'm gonna cut this in half, right? And then from there, I'm gonna turn that so it's sort of now I'm in between those two and I'm gonna sort of make, break this down into quarters by going in between those halves. And then the other side. And we're done. Sometimes I'll come in and just check the rim and make sure it looks sort of even, but looks pretty good.